Good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Zion Church. This is a celebration. Are y'all ready to celebrate? Oh, y'all just a little too quiet for me. I said, are you ready to celebrate? With the exception of the family, I want to invite you to stand up on your feet. Let's get ready.
much power. Good morning. Oh, come on in here, somebody. Now, you don't have to have your seats just yet. I know, I know we're here to celebrate a life, but I, I just need somebody that understands that there's a name that's above every name. And that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. And if you're thankful for the name of Jesus, I dare you to stand on your feet if you're able, just a couple of moments and give God some praise. If you're watching online, go ahead and type it in the chat. Come on. Yeah, he's worthy of honor, worthy of glory, worthy. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Look at somebody and say he's worthy. Look at somebody else and say he's worthy. Now, don't touch him because we want to respect personal space. Amen. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, come on now. We all family now. We didn't worship together and all that. We didn't, we didn't sweat. Some of y'all sweating. I can see it from here. Now, listen, we can talk like family. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Can we give God praise for Zion worship? We're so thankful for them. And I want to welcome you to the celebration of life for Tracy Lynn Braxton Surratt. Come on, make some noise for her life. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah! Um, 
My name is Jason Jones. I'm one of the pastors here, and it's my honor to welcome you. Um, on behalf of our senior pastor, Keith Battle, and all of our leadership here at Zion, we want to welcome you here to Zion and to the family, Kevin, Little Kev, uh, Mr. Braxton, the whole family. We, we love you so much. Thank you for letting us serve your family at this special, special time. Amen. Can we give it up for this family? It is such a pleasure. And if you're watching online, if um, there's information there, if you're curious about who we are and all that, but we're going to have a good time today. Can some, somebody say that? We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time because it's a celebration. Now, one of the reasons we can celebrate is because we don't have to worry about Tracy anymore. She's all right because she took care of her business. We know where she is. So that makes this an even greater celebration because we know that she's in a place where there's no pain, no difficulty, no doctor. She don't need none of that. She's good. So we can celebrate that. Amen. Amen. So as we move along through the service, I'm going to welcome to the stage um, to give us our prayer of comfort, Bishop Vance Olds. And um, after that, we're going to have New Testament and Old Testament, New Testament scripture reading. We're going to have some musical selections. And this is going to be an incredible celebration. You have never seen anything like this. It's going to be incredible. So I encourage you, stand up, clap, shout, wave your hands. You can walk around. We got space for you to do that. That's all right. Is that, is that all right? All right. So Bishop Olds, if you can come to the stage at this point. Amen. Can we give it up for Bishop Vance Olds? Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, clap your hands one more time and give God praise. Let us go to the throne of grace. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry not just one thing, but everything to God in prayer. Eternal Father, our God, we thank you because this is the day that you have made. And you said in your word that we ought to rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. So, God, we thank you and we give you praise because you're still a good God. God, you're omnipotent. You're omniscient. God, you're sovereign. You're everlasting. You're infallible. You're incorruptible. And we thank you, Father, for all that you have done in this day. Now, Father, we come and we gather today to celebrate the life of our sister, Tony Braxton. We thank you, Father, for what you have done in her, through her, by her, and with her. The lives that she impacted, encouraged, lifted up, motivated, stimulated, activated. And we thank you right now for you're the God of comfort. And Father, we pray that you comfort us right now. We celebrate and we lift up our voices and our hearts to you because we know that when it's all said and done, when the trumpet shall sound, the dead in Christ will rise up again. And then God, all of us that remain will be caught up to meet you in the air. And so for we ever be with you. So we thank you for the family. Father, I pray that you will keep them in your care. Everyone that have come far and near. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you will send comfort and we give you praise right now in Jesus' name. Everybody ought to clap your hands and say amen. Greetings, everyone. My name is Pastor Joy Gunterman. I serve here at Zion Church. And I'll be doing the Old Testament reading from Psalm chapter 61, beginning at verse 1. Oh God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety, for you are my safe refuge a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. May the Lord add a blessing to his word. Good morning. I'm Pastor DeMond Applewhite of Motivation Move Ministries. I bring condolences on behalf of the ministry. I'll be reading the words of Jesus from the Gospel of John, chapter 14. And it reads, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. There's more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be 
with me where I am. And you know the way to where I'm going. No, we do not, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. God bless. We've come to give God praise. We've come to celebrate the life of our sister, Tracy. Bird, we love you. We bless his name.
into her house, every time I walked, you know, to pack her clothes, uh, you know, to get her dressed, you know, to send her out to L.A. to tape, whatever we were doing, whether she was singing, um, it was just, it was an experience. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a fitting, it was an experience. We prayed together, we laughed together, we laughed together, we laughed together. <laughs> And every time we ended with prayer, and you know, we talked about the ups and downs of industry. You know, we got each other. It was like I was the sweet to her spiciness. You know, <laughs> we was that team. And um, I'm hurting, you guys. I, I lost my friend, and um, I never thought I would be standing here in this moment. Um, there again, there's no preparation. But what I can tell you is that. Always cherish your friends, make memories, create moments, um, and just love them, love them, because life can be short, but friendship is everlasting. And so the only thing that's gonna get me through is to just look back through these memories, and every time I feel like crying, I start laughing. <laughs> I literally start laughing every time I look at the videos. And so I thank you, family, for sharing Tracy with me. Um, Thank you just for so many moments with her. She, she, was, she was everything. And I'm just, um, I'm heartbroken, but I'm also thankful that she's not hurting anymore. 
thankful that, you know, we're here to celebrate her life um, and to just give her her flowers because she was an amazing woman. And I am so grateful to be able to have a first, just a first seat in her life, like in her closets everywhere. And I'm so thankful for that moment. So thank you, Surat. And Tracy, I love you. Um, I'm such a, you know, I'm so behind the scenes and I'm such an introvert that this right here is a bit um, unusual for me. Um, but I'm going to try and get through this without crying because She, from day one, was such a great friend. She, is, she was a phenomenal woman. If you've ever been in her presence, you would know just how phenomenal she was. She had the ability to make you laugh. She had the ability to make you cry. She had the ability to just love on you. Um, and I will never, ever forget um, how kind and how loving she was with me. Um, this is a sad moment for me, and I know we're supposed to be rejoicing, but you know, when you're gone too soon, for me, she's just gone too soon. I just never got enough of her. Um, I have videos, like Tam, I watched, she sent me a video, and I watched it about a hundred times just to hear her laugh and play and be so joyful and full of life. Um, I'm just at loss for words. I love her and I miss her. Um, so again, I give my condolences to Surat, Kevin, um, the baby. She loved her grandson. Oh my God. Yes. Um, and so on behalf of the Glam Squad, we give our condolences. Tracy, we love you. Good morning, Zion. My name is Candace Dillard Bassett. I had the, the pleasure and the honor of knowing Tracy um, later um, in life. I met her actually through her publicist, Thomasina. Um, my husband owned a restaurant in Old Town and her and Surratt used to love to come in and get those chicken wings and, uh, and hang out and talk. And um, I, I later had the opportunity to, to uh, work with her through my manager, Nye. Um, she was really um, kind enough to extend herself um, and do a feature on my, my, my first album, um, which she did not have to do. Um, she one thing about Tracy is that she was, she was for everybody. She was kind, she was down to earth. She was um, everyone's friend. She was everyone's light. Um, you may or may not know me from a silly show on television, uh, a reality show, and we shared that. And she, Tracy would often um, counsel me and, and give me advice, and, and she would always say to me, don't let those girls get, get you. And um, she always made me feel seen. I think that was the thing about her that, um, that I think that everyone can attest to, that she always made you feel seen and loved. And much of that um, is because of the people who, um, who raised her and who, who gave her to us. And so to the family, I say thank you 
for giving us your daughter, your mother, your wife. Um, I, I said a bit ago that the world doesn't deserve people like Tracy. She is, she is, was and is a gem and is almost too good for this world. Um, and I, I will leave you with this. I will, I will say this is the way that I have been able to maneuver through this very difficult space. You cannot have grief without love. So as you all are grieving and moving through this phase, lean on the love because that's what makes the grief possible. I thank you, God bless you, and God bless Tracy. Peace, peace, this is Raheem Devon. I just wanted to take a brief moment. Um, I'm here live in the green room. I just want to acknowledge and give condolences and big love to the entire Braxton family, um, all the friends, extended friends and family as well. We're going to miss, I'm going to miss our sister, Tracy Braxton, man. Um, you know, I, I remember her as always one who uh, contains the energy of the room and a, on a positive note, always smiling, always laughing, always had a great, great timing for a good joke. You know, um, never a dull moment with her and just always real and genuine. All right, real and genuine. We're gonna miss you, we love you, and um, we know that that energy is all around us now, you know? Um, again, love um, and condolences. We miss you, Tracy. Love life. Hello, this is Melba Moore. My condolences to the Braxton family and everybody that knows and loves Tracy. Of course, my heart broke when I heard of her passing. Every time I saw Tracy, she was always so warm and so supportive of me. And so to the Braxton family and my dearest Tracy, I love you. Hey guys, this is Michael Slim of 112, wishing the Braxton family our condolences and sending our love and our prayers. Tracy was an amazing woman, a beautiful woman, and she will forever be missed. We love her, we love you guys. If you need anything from 112, let us know. But again, we're sending our condolences. We love y'all, we got prayers for y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm honored and thankful to be here to speak about Tracy, a beautiful woman, wife, mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, and friend. I wanted to take a different approach today, knowing that many will come up and talk about who Tracy was and her relationship with her. I wanted to deliver a message in which I believe that God and Tracy would want you to hear. Be tolerant with each other, and if someone has complained against anyone, forgive each other. As the Lord forgave you, so also forgive each other. What I want to speak about is greatness. And what does greatness look like? And I think Tracy exemplified greatness. When a life-changing experience comes our way, we have to approach it with greatness. Greatness is celebrating a loved one for who they were and not what we wanted them to be. Greatness is just not measured during the good times, but those times where things weren't what we hoped and dreamed. Greatness is working through adversity, pain, suffering, and disappointment. Greatness is putting aside your disagreements and working together as one to accomplish the things that brought Tracy joy. Greatness is saying, I'll love you today, tomorrow, and forever, because we are family and friends. Greatness is putting your ego aside for the better of one another. Greatness is having the ability to say, I'm sorry. 
Greatness is realizing that the world doesn't revolve around you. Greatness is showing compassion towards each other. Greatness is knowing that without God, there's no career, there's no status, there's no home, there's no family, there's no kids, there's no you. Greatness is standing together as one. Greatness is being the parent, sibling, friend, or fan that God wants us to be. Greatness is believing in each other. Greatness is never leaving me when things get tough. Never allow another to snatch your greatness away from you. Receive the greatness that God has in store for you. Don't try to steal my greatness. Greatness lives in all of us. But remember, the greatness that God has for you is for you. And the greatness that God has for me is for me. Having greatness during criticism begins with one's forgiveness. Don't hold a grudge. Pray for those who dislike you or find fault in you. Do what's right and honor God's will. He'll give you what he promised, he promised you, and you'll be great in the midst of all criticism. To celebrate, continue to celebrate Tracy's life, support her family, management team, and friends, because that's what she would have wanted. Show the world that we can come together during difficult times and prosper. Now, now is not the time for division. If today is not the day, then when? Because tomorrow is not promised. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you for us, having the ability to know Tracy, both in person and through TV and social media. She has always been in your hands, and you had a plan for your beautiful flower. She helped bloom many lives, during the course of her walk. She is now with you looking down on all of us, probably saying, they're crazy down there. And I'm glad to be, be home living in peace and with joy and singing to the biggest audience that I've ever seen. Family and friends, family, friends, and fans, I say to you, please remember both the good and not so good times of Tracy Braxton, Surratt. Because those times help to shape her and some of us too. Thank you. Come on, give it up for that beautiful performance. One, two. All right. Come on, give it up for that beautiful performance. Awesome. Prepare me for greater. Hey, have you all been blessed by this incredible tribute honoring Tracy? Come on, make some noise if you're watching in the chat. Yeah, the, it's, this has been incredible. So um, listen, before we move further, I, I want to do something right here. I, I want to honor all of you for being here. On behalf of the family, your presence really matters. And I just want to say thank you for taking the time to be here and just your presence. We may not always know the right words to say, but just the fact that we're present says so much. So thank you so much once again for being here and for everybody watching online. There are thousands of people watching online. Um, just an honor um, to Tracy's life. Amen. So I also want to say, if there's any clergy here, I just want to honor you. If there's any clergy in the building, if you just wouldn't mind standing, we just want to recognize you. and Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, and we're going to move in, into the next part of our, our time today. And we've got some amazing stuff um, coming up. We're going to have a proclamation um, by Councilmember Monique Anderson Walker. We've got um, the reading of Tracy's biography, which is so exciting. Um, we've got a musical selection from the Josh Copeland um, and the, the eulogy 
We, everybody say, we got to hear the word. Yeah, we got to hear the word. Um, by Bishop Carrie Jean Surratt. Um, she's going to bring us God's word with power and conviction. So um, we're excited for that. Amen. So I'm going to ask Thomasina um, to come onto the stage, and she's going to read the biography, and we're going to keep it rolling from there. Amen? Amen. Good morning, everyone. So I am Thomasina Perkins. We're going to drop that Washington, but I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. Um... I don't know about y'all, it's a little hot in here for me. It's the first time in a long time I've been in the sanctuary, so that could be where the extra heat coming from. <laughs> um, not only was I uh, Tracy's publicist of over 10 years, I am also um, a really good friend. Tracy was a good friend of mine. So if I flub up some of these words, please just, just know that uh, y'all can read them later. And I also can't see. So here we are. Tracy Renee Braxton Surratt, 50. Born April 2nd, her birthday's Saturday, y'all. 1971 in Severn, Maryland. She is the third child born to Michael and Evelyn Braxton. Tracy was welcomed into millions of homes via WeTV's Thursday evening, evening hit show, Braxton Family Values. The longest running African-American family reality show in history. Just want y'all to make sure y'all note that with her sisters Tony, Tawanda, Trina, Tamar, and brother Michael. Tracy released her well-received debut album, Crash and Burn, in 2014, which spent several weeks on Billboard's charts and peaked at number 16. She collaborated with the Inspire Youth to Dream organization for the song Moonlight, featuring Grammy-nominated artist and producer Kokai, which brought awareness to the opioid crisis and was submitted for Grammy consideration in 2017. Her sophomore album, Tracy Braxton on Earth, released in 2018, was well received. And her last studio contribution to Candace Dillard's song, Stay With Me, was released this past summer, peaked at number six on the R&B Flavor playlist. Tracy had an excitement for fitness, healthy living, motorcycle riding, and being a motivational speaker to charities and nonprofit organizations for females and others around the world. Tracy has appeared as a special guest co-host on TV shows, including the Emmy Award-winning talk show, The Real, and TV One's Sister Circle. She showed her acting chops in films such as Megamind's All In, Sinners Wanted, and BET Her's special health initiative short series, The Couch. She also appeared in one of my favorites, Offset Productions, The Christmas Lottery, in the upcoming film, Shaw, which is set to be released May 27, 2022. Tracy also loved radio and worked on several shows, including sitting beside the legendary disc jockey Donnie Simpson, the Green Eye Bandit. Tracy launched her whiskey brand, Black Cowboy Whiskey. She continued to grow her empire as an entrepreneur and a businesswoman and as a co-owner in Soul World Entertainment with her managers slash partners, Cliff Jones and Tommy Reed prior to her esophageal cancer diagnosis, treatment, and ultimate passing. Tracy was a Recording Academy, DC Grammar Chapter, Order of the Eastern Stars, and Divine Nine Sorority, Zeta Phi Beta member. Tracy was preceded in death by her dear niece, Lolo, or excuse me, Lauren Lolo Braxton, and stepson, Herschel Wooten. Upon her death, Mrs. Mrs. Braxton Surratt leaves to mourn her husband of 25 years, Kevin Surratt Sr., her son, Kevin Jr., his wife, Olivia Surratt, stepchildren, Carita Surratt and DeAndre Wooten, grandsons, Zaire and Kevin Surratt III, mother, Evelyn Braxton, father, Michael Conrad Braxton Sr., brother, Michael Conrad Braxton Jr., sisters, Tony, Tawanda, and Tamir. Braxton, Trina, and brother-in-law Vaughn Braxton, I mean, excuse me, Scales, a host of relatives to include sisters and brothers-in-laws, nieces, nephews, professional longtime team members, friends, and special friends, Tawana Davis and Monica Wood, 
Thank you all for listening. And my phone just came on too, so bye y'all. Good morning, church. I'm Monique Anderson Walker, former county council member right here in Prince George's County. Um, I had an opportunity, the delight, I will say, to meet Tracy uh, about three years ago. And what struck me, we were at dinner with my husband, myself, and Cliff Jones. And what struck me about her was just how genuine a person she is, she was. Uh, what struck me too is that she was so focused about making everybody else at the table comfortable. A very selfless individual. And I look at people like that in terms of their emotional quotient. Not IQ, your intellectual quotient, but that emotional quotient. That brilliance and how to connect with people and she had that. Um, I'm here today to read on behalf of my husband, Delegate Jay Walker, a proclamation as well as uh, another proclamation from our comptroller uh, and, uh, and, and gubernatorial candidate, Peter Francho, uh, proclamation. The first one is from the Maryland General Assembly. And thank you so much for helping. The Maryland General Assembly, in memoriam, be it hereby known to all that sincere sympathy is extended to the family of Tracy Renee Braxton Surratt. May you find comfort in family and friends during your time of loss. May Tracy's love of community be a beacon of light for you. She now sings among the angels songs of joy and peace to be heard in your hearts forever. Presented on this 31st day of March 2022 by Delegate Jay Walker of Prince George's County Legislative District 8. Thank you. And the next is from the Comptroller of Maryland. Comptroller of Maryland, serving the people. Be it hereby known to all that this certificate in memory is presented to the family of Tracy Braxton in memory of a beloved and charismatic individual who left a powerful legacy of love. Tracy was a devoted mother and talented artist who followed her calling to improve lives in her community through social work. She was unafraid to chart her own course and as such was affectionately known as the wild card. With heartfelt gratitude for what she has done to make this world a better place, may she rest in eternal peace, presented on this 31st day of March 2022, Peter Francho, Comptroller, State of Maryland, and this will be presented to the family. Thank you and God bless. Bottle up every tear, understand every fear, so we must put our trust in God. He knows the reason why nights we must sit and cry. So we must put our trust in God. Even though sometimes the Lord may make you feel your life is almost gone. Just look up tomorrow, sun. Will let you know your life's not done. Just look around, love pouring down. Trust in God. Hey, he understands everything. Healing is in His wings. 
so we must put our trust in God. He shows how much He cares by sharing the load we bear, so we must put our trust in God. Even when we don't understand, and it seems our world falling apart just look up tomorrow's sun will let you know your life's not done just look around love pouring down trust in God in God Ooh, trust in God Ooh, trust in God I know your heart might be heavy today but you gotta learn to trust in him learn to trust in the Lord he said I'll never leave you nor forsake you Trust in God. Trust in God. Just look up. Tomorrow, sun will let you know your life's not done. Just look around Love's pouring down My brother, my brother Trust in God Can somebody stretch your hands towards the family and tell them Trust in God Tell them again for me Trust in God Somebody ought to clap your hands I will, I will trust in the master. He has the final say. Hey, when we can't lean on nobody else, we can always call on Jesus. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. Trust in God. Somebody ought to clap your hand and say, I will trust you. Oh, don't play with it. Clap your hand and say, I will trust you. Even when it hurts, I'll trust you. Even in sorrow, I'll trust you. When I don't understand, I will trust you, Jesus. I'm going to trust him. Somebody clap your hands if you're going to trust God. Thank you, Father. There's no 
way that we can make it without trusting God. We can't do that. Uh, I was asked to do the eulogy, not to preach, but to do the eulogy. Actually, the eulogy started with the first person that spoke. Eulogy, eulogize, means to praise, and that's what we're going to do. Can I take this out? Yeah. Thank you. This is an astronomical demonstration of celebratory love. And what I'm going to do today requires audience participation. This is also a heartfelt support for the family of our beloved Tracy Braxton Surratt. As we gather here today, we are here to celebrate her life. As you focus on her life, it will help to ease the pain of her death. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for coming today. It's because of your presence and your love and your support that this celebration will lift our spirits and it will imprint in our hearts forever. Kevin and Kevin, this will never be forgotten. And again, I want to say on behalf of Kevin and the entire Surratt family and the Braxton family, thank you for coming today. We have come to commemorate and honor Tracy for her accomplishments in the music industry, as well as other accomplishments demonstrated because of her giving spirit. Now, how many really, really think that you knew Tracy? Let me see your hand. Uh-huh. Well, today, by the, by the end of the day, you will know the real Tracy the person she wanted everybody to know. We knew her as Tracy Braxton on television. We knew her as the singer, the one who did albums, but we want you to know Trey. We want you to know our Tracy. Without any doubt whatsoever, we know that the hand of the Lord had been upon Tracy since childhood. So today we celebrate Tracy's life we celebrate the love that she gave to all, and we celebrate the light of guidance that she gave to so many. I wish somebody would put their hands together and clap for Tracy Braxton Surratt right here, right now. Celebrate her, come on, celebrate her. You know, when a person dies, they ask for a death certificate. What if a life certificate were required for this service today? What would we say? How would we fill it in? This is the, what I would say. Tracy was a wonderful wife a loving mother, a precious daughter, a great sister, a reliable aunt, an adorable niece, and an amazing friend. If you had Tracy as a friend, you had someone that was gonna stick with you to the end. Today we celebrate Tracy's incredible life, wife of Kevin Surratt and the mother of Kevin Jr. She was also a talented singer and an actress, a writer, a philanthropist, and I see she was a comedian. Tracy was gonna make you laugh no matter what. She would light up a room when she would go in, not because she was Tracy Braxton Surratt, just because she was Tracy. She always had something good to say. You need to listen, you needed to hear her. And then there was always this 
She had an infectious laugh and smile. We're going to miss that. But today we celebrate the fact that God gave her to us for 50 years. What a blessing. And a praise goes right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us, Tracy. What a tremendous blessing. You know, Tracy's heart, Tracy's heart really, uh, her most passionate trait was to be a motivational speaker. I called her my little preacher. And she loved to speak at nonprofit organizations, but she also loved to minister to the disabled children. Tracy loved children. How many know that is true? Yes. She loved children. She loved your child, my child, his child, their child. If you're not careful, after five minutes of being in Tracy's presence, she would be Auntie Tracy or Godmother to your child. I heard a story when we were on the Zoom the other night. I heard a story I want to share with you just briefly uh, about uh, Tracy and children. Uh, Kevin and Tracy had moved to this big house, had a nice pool in the back, uh, but they hadn't cleaned it and the water wasn't in it and it wasn't prepared. But now we had some children that came to the house. Well, Tracy, being the Tracy that she was, she said, just give me a few minutes. Tracy got in the car, she left, she went down the street, went to Target or to Walmart. I don't know where she went, but she went and she bought one of these portable pools that it can only hold about two feet of water. And not only did she buy the pool for the children, she bought the goggles, she bought fins, she bought toys that you can't even really play with in the pool, but she wanted the children to be happy. So she came back to the house, they filled the pool, and the kids, now five, six, and seven, they're not tiny, they're in this pool playing, and Tracy was so, so, so happy because they were happy. That's the Tracy that we love. That's the Tracy that we're going to miss. Trey, as she was affectionately known, was a faithful servant. The Bible says in Matthew, I knew y'all were waiting for me to say something about the Bible, weren't you? Uh-huh, I knew y'all were waiting for that. The Bible says in Matthew 25 and 23, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many. Now, we've heard this verse read many times in the Bible or in church, and I, I, I wanted to investigate it a little deeper to see exactly what it meant. In my research, I found out that this scripture, a faithful servant, well done, and you're going to be ruler over many, I found out what that faithful servant really meant. It meant Tracy Braxton Surratt. She had the mindset and the desire to be selfless. She was selfless and she always wanted, would make the sacrifice for others. That's a faithful servant. She would serve others regardless to her own situation, regardless to what it cost. She was there to serve. She loved to entertain. Tracy loved to entertain. How many of you were entertained by Tracy at some point in time? Let me see. I'm talking about personally, you know, like at the house and at the apartment. Yes. So there's this trait about Tracy. I can't leave the stage without talking about it. Tracy was an excellent entertainer, but she was an excellent cook. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all are not hungry because I'm getting ready to read the list. She was an excellent cook. And uh, she would serve her guests. She would be in that kitchen and she would work those pots and those pans. And this would be the menu. Are you ready? Somebody yell it out. What is it? Turkey, wings. Turkey wings. Yes. What's the other one? 
ox, I got it on my paper. I have it on my paper. Yes, she would have the turkey wings and the oxtails and the cabbage and the greens, macaroni and cheese. That girl could cook for real. Make no mistake about it. When you got ready to leave the event, in the corner, they had this whole stack of carry-out containers. Tracy would go and get a container and fill it up and have you go home with a whole container full of food. That was Tracy. I remember one time I called her. I said, Tracy, I'm, I'm, I'm having uh, some people over, and I need a small dish of macaroni and cheese. Could you help me out, please? Oh, sure, Auntie. I'll get Surratt to bring me right over. So Tracy was supposed to bring me a small pan of macaroni and cheese. When they got to my house, she had, yes, two huge pans full of macaroni and cheese. That was Tracy. I am so grateful to the Lord that I can call her my niece. She was absolutely a wonderful, wonderful person and a niece. I'm grateful to God for the blessings in her life. Most importantly, during today's jubilation, we want to magnify Tracy Braxton Surratt, the fact that she loved the Lord. Yes, Tracy loved Jesus Christ. Not only did she love him, but he was her Lord, he was her Savior, he was her healer, and he was her way maker. One of the greatest desires of her life was to worship God. That was one of the greatest desires. We were so blessed at our home church, the Lord's Church of Restoration. We were so blessed when Tracy made up her mind, my house, we're going to serve the Lord. She was already serving him in her way, her ministry. But they started coming to the Lord's Church of Restoration. At one time, Pop Braxton came, and little Kevin came, and uh, Kevin was there because we were having football jersey Sunday. Well, when you have a, a sport, you always have the anthem sang, right? Well, Trey was right there, and she sang for us that Sunday. And not only that, there were times when she would come, and she would actually sing with the praise team. Ooh, what a blessing that was. My assignment for the last nine to 12 months was to pray with Tracy, to speak words of life to her, to decree and declare the word of God in her life. She absolutely was a woman of great faith and Tracy was a fighter. Anybody know the fighter? Now, no, I'm not talking about that one. I'm not talking about, she was that too. You don't, don't, don't get it twisted. You start talking about her sisters. Okay, no, but she was a fighter for life. Her faith never wavered. She held, listen, she fought a good fight. A worthy and honorable fight. Until she finished her course. Her faith never wavered. She held firmly to her faith, and she kept the faith to the very end. One evening, about two weeks before she left us, the Lord gave me a word for Tracy. We were on, talking on the phone. We had had prayer uh, about an hour before, and she called me back. Auntie. I need to know some things. Okay, we talked about that. And while I was talking to her, the Spirit of the Lord gave me a prophetic word for her. And this is word I would like to share with you today. Tracy, the Lord said, you have enough word in you that has enough word that has been deposited in you that peace will prevail. There's enough word in you, and the peace of God will see you through this. I wasn't sure 
what this meant when the Lord said this. But God was saying that he, the word of the Lord that had been placed in her, deposited in her from childhood to now, even the prayers that she had every morning with her dad on the phone, that the peace that passeth all understanding would see her through this. See her through the moment of transition. And her response to me was, amen, auntie, I believe and I receive. The peace of the Lord was upon her. Great peace have they that love thy law. Tracy loved the law of God. The Bible says that we're to be anxious for no thing, but in everything, in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let our requests be made known unto God. Our request was, God, touch Tracy. Lord, heal Tracy. Our request was for peace. And the word of the Lord lets us know that if we are not anxious or fearful for anything, his peace will keep our heart and our mind through Christ Jesus. So that then we can think on the things that are lovely. Then we can think on the things that are pure, just, and a good report. Tracy had the peace of God all over her, even in her weakest hour, even when she was in severe pain. She never complained. She never complained. She was in, uh, she was semi-comatose when we went to see her at, at their apartment. And she was in a fetal position. And my position was always in her ear. So I was there in her ear and I was praying and I was talking talking about the word and quoting the, her favorite scripture, the you know, 23rd Psalm. And, and all of a sudden, they heard, amen. Thank you, Jesus. She, had, she wasn't, hadn't been talking. Kevin said, that was Trey? Tina said, yeah, man, that spirit is very much alive. As I began to pray in the spirit, she, her spirit man began to react and to God be the glory. These experiences are priceless that I had the last three weeks with Tracy. Three days before Tracy transitioned to glory in the presence of the Lord, I was at the facility praying again with Tracy. My position was over the bed in her ear. And as I was praying softly in her ear, quoting scriptures, singing psalms, I sang a couple of hymns for her, and she began to grunt. She began to react. Oh, God. And this is what the Lord said. The Lord said again. I said, oh, the Lord said, he is your God, Tracy. It's from Zephaniah 3, 17 and 18. This is what the Lord says. I am your God, Tracy. I am mighty to save you. And he, the God of heaven, will take great delight in you because you are his child. He will quiet you with love. He will rejoice over you with singing. What a celebratory moment to know that her life was so blessed that the Spirit of the Lord would rejoice over her in singing. Would rejoice because her time had come and it's time for her to now be in the presence of the Lord. What a joy. And so, the father sent the angels, transitioned her to his bosom, transitioned her to glory on March 12th. We know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. We know that. And we know that as the Lord had taken her up and healed her, uh-huh, there's no more pain, no more anguish. Thank God for 
the, the power of God that rejoiced over her with singing. I want to see Tracy again. I'm going to see Tracy again. Are you? Oh, let me see your hand. Come on. I, I'm going to see her again. Are you? There, there's just a tiny prerequisite for that. If Jesus Christ was her Lord and her Savior, and he was, if Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior, and he is, and if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, then you will see her again. There's a requirement. Uh-huh. There's a requirement. That requirement is to live for him, to worship him, to adore him. And then what a joy for the Lord to rejoice over us in singing. Tracy has answered the call. Wasn't that her song, Last Call? Mm -hmm. Tracy answered the call. Are you ready to answer the call? Are you ready? I promise you, if Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior, you will see Tracy again. So when they first asked me, I saw on the program that I was supposed to do an altar call. Uh, I can do that now. Would that be all right? I'm going to pray before I leave this stage. And I'm going to pray, not just for you, but for those that are listening on, those that are watching online. I'm talking to them as well. In order for us to celebrate in the spirit, to celebrate with joy, to celebrate with thanksgiving, you've got to know Jesus as Savior. So if you would, just bow your head with me and I'm going to pray. Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, before we ask, we say thank you. Lord, we want to thank you for Tracy Braxton Surratt. Thank you for her life. Thank you for the light of her life, which was you. Thank you, Father, for putting your hands on her and never letting her go. So now, Father, I pray for the listening audience. I pray for those that are online. I pray for those that are in my presence. Lord, that they would take, allow the light from heaven to search their souls. Let there be introspection right now. Find out where you are with Jesus Christ. Lord, would you be so kind to come and save today? Your word says, if I call on the name of the Lord, I shall be saved. Come on, say it with me, Jesus. Come on, say it with me, Jesus. Your word says, if I call on the Lord, I shall be saved. I pray for salvation for the lost right now in the name of Jesus. This is not an altar call for joining the church, but it's an altar call for joining the body of Christ. Lord, would you come now and be Lord of our lives? Save from the uttermost. Save us, O oh God, again. Wash us in your blood so that we can be your children. So that we would then can rejoice and give you worship and praise. I pray for salvation right now in the name of Jesus. I decree it and I declare it that it shall come. Thank you for the angels that shall cross their path to water this word that was given today. Lord, thank you for receiving us in your presence. And more than anything, we thank you for rejoicing over us with singing as salvation has come today. These things we ask, we decree, and we declare in the matchless name of Jesus. Everybody say amen and amen and amen. Can we give God some praise for that word? Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Beautiful job. Bishop Auntie. Amen. That's Bishop Auntie. What a word. 
So listen, I, she said something that's so important that I just don't want to miss this moment right here. Because as we said earlier, one of the reasons this is a celebration is because we know Tracy put her trust in Jesus Christ, the Savior and Lord. And if you made a decision today, if you heard the word and you said, I got to call on the name of the Lord Jesus, I, I, I got to give my life to him. If that's you, or if you're saying, you know what? I've been away from God. I've been doing my own thing, living my own way, kind of just, just acting however I want to act. Anybody ever been like that? I know I've been there. Amen. Y'all online, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're saying, you know what? I got to turn that around today. I want to give you an opportunity to come back to God. Because here's the reality that all of us are here by divine appointment. And I don't find it a coincidence that because of your either as family or those who are watching and here supporting um, because of your love for Tracy, that God was able to speak to you today in a way that would change your life for eternity. And what better way to honor her memory and her life than for you to make a decision that would allow you to see her again. Amen. So if that's you, whether you're here in person or whether you're watching online, if you made that decision, I need you to do something for me. Um, everybody pull out your phone. If that's you, pull out your phone. We're going to make this real simple. And I want you to open your text app. And I want you to send this text to 51555. You ready? One word, next steps. Next steps to 51555. Why? Because if you're going to walk this thing out, one of the things that I believe that helped Tracy so much was that she had a beautiful God-fearing family that surrounded her with love and walked with her. See, you can't walk with God alone. We weren't designed to live in isolation. God designed us to live in community and connection. So I want to invite you into that today. I think it's still morning, this morning. Amen. Maybe some of y'all on the left, on the West Coast, maybe it's, yeah, it's earlier there. But text next steps to 51555 and someone from our team will follow up with you we want to talk with you we want to pray with you and we want to make sure that you understand the decision that you're making because it's so critical it's so important because the reality is all of us in this world there's a hundred percent mortality rate right we're all going to pass this way so why don't you take care of your eternal business today amen amen so again text next steps to 51555 and since we've been sitting for a while if you're able I'm going to ask you to do something because we're going to have our worship team come back lead us in some more worship and then we're going to have some more tributes but I want to give you a chance to stand up and stretch if you're able if you want to do that you can take a moment and you can also stand and worship with us if you like not the family if you're, you're here and you're able to stand um, feel free to stand as we begin to worship so ladies and gentlemen we are Zion Music No! 
amazing Tracy 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 it's gonna be tough y'all y'all please bear with me giving honor to God Pastor Battle Bishop Surratt Pastor Jones Zion Church Kevin Senior Kevin Jr. and the rest of the family my name is Tommy Reed I'm the president of Soul World Entertainment and I would like to thank everybody for coming out. Today we celebrate 
I'm sorry, a, a beautiful, gentle, kind black queen, Tracy Braxton. We had the honor and the privilege to manage and produce Tracy. Produce Tracy. And the one thing I loved about Tracy was I watched her accomplish everything that she wanted to accomplish and some. She never gave up on her goals. Tracy was the epitome of turning it all around. In the words of Cliff Jones, <laughs> live, love, and give. And that's what Tracy did. She lived her life, she loved people, and she gave. When she walked in the room, she was the life of the party. And I've watched her give her last to someone in need. Tracy was a living example of life and love and giving. An example of living life to the fullest. If you know her, she loves her family, her husband, her son, her grandson, and her management team, and her career. Tracy was always excited about work and giving to all, giving her all. And that inspired me. Um, and it's just, it's just hard. We work with Tracy. We seen her when she was at her low points. We seen her when she was at her high points. But she loved everybody. Sometimes Tracy used to tell me, you know what, I'm going to sign every single autograph. I don't care who it is. That was just a, her heart. That's just why her heart was. And that's what she did. She didn't care. It didn't matter to her. She loved being in Maryland. She loved the DMV. And she just loved. She was a, she was a true jewel of a person. But I'm going to tell you one story during her sickness. Tracy called me, I guess she called me about 2 o'clock in the morning. And she said, Tommy, I picked up the phone, I said, Trace, Trace, what's going on? She said, why me? And I said, Trey, I, I can't tell you, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know. She said, look, boy, don't cry on this phone because I'm going to hang up. <laughs> and that was just her spirit. Like, she could make you laugh at any given moment. So I said, okay, Tracy, I ain't going to cry. I ain't going to cry. That's fine. So then a couple of weeks later, still during her sickness, she called me again like 2 o'clock in the morning. Probably hadn't talked to her in like two weeks. She said, uh, Tommy, I said, hey, Trey, what's going on? She said, I'm going to just run on and see what the end going to be. So I said, huh? She said, I'm going to just run on and see what the end going to be. And that was a kind of a confirmation for me of her saying, you know what? I'm going to be good. But I'm going to keep running, even during my sickness. And that's what she did. She kept running. So Tracy, we love you. Her family, we love you. And we all got to keep running and see what the end going to be. Tracy, our DMV queen, thank you. Hey, this is Donnie. I just want to say I love that woman with all my heart. She was so special. I'm telling you, Tracy was really something. Um, I worked with her for about two months. She was trying out for my radio show, and uh, it was just such a cool time. I mean, every day was just fun, because that's who she was. She was crazy, crazy and fun, uh, but so real. That was the thing about Tracy. She was just so real. Um, the day she passed, I shared that with my wife, and I mean, we were just ripped apart inside. You know, it was just heartbreaking, man. And she's so young, and um, 
you know, we were talking about the time that she came over to our house. You know, they walked in with a bottle of champagne ready to just hang, you know? It was just, she was just real. She was, you know, and I, and I think that's the thing that she left for us. Um, Tracy was always her. And I think that that's a lesson for all of us. You know, Tracy, you know, she had a celebrity and all of that, but, you know, she, Tracy was always, 100% of the time, her. And that's all you have to be. That's why she was so loved, you know? She couldn't be anybody else. She only knew how to be her. And that's the lesson. That's all we all need to be, is who we are. And that's who Tracy was. So, Tracy, I loved you. I still love you, always will. Uh, to her family, my deepest condolences from me and my wife, Pam. And, um, you know, know that, it, well, I don't have to say this, because y'all are a spiritual family. You know you will see her again. Amen. Look forward to it. God bless you. Hey, Tracy and family. It's not going to be the same without your energy around the camp, Tracy. Um, you didn't get out of here scot-free. I still owe you one for hoodwinking me into that Braxton Family Values episode with that horrible, horrible boot camp. After that, we was bonded forever. And I, I swore I'd get you for that one. Joke's on me. I guess I'll have to do that later. I know your family is missing you terribly. So are we. And we love you because you are love, Tracy. So see you on the other side. Keep it, keep it light up there for me. I know you're the angel with the laughter. So keep it light and I'll be there later. Later, later, much, 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 much later. <laughs> Bye. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, my name is Bob Terry, and I had the uh, pleasure of producing Tracy on her first uh, project, music project. And... Um, Man, it was, when she walked in my studio, she just lit up the whole room. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not much that I can say that hasn't already been said about her. She was very, very, very fun to work with. Um, I mean, she was actually hilarious. She really was. And um, she was just real determined uh, to put out a killer project and you know I, I believe that we definitely accomplished that um, I want to say to the family um, my prayers are with all of you um, to Cliff, Tommy Dave Junior um, I want to thank them for giving me the opportunity to, the whole Soul World Entertainment uh, family for giving me the opportunity to work with her in the studio um, and um, I just I thank God for that I thank God for being able to uh, know Tracy and work with her in that way and um, you know I'm just thankful for that what's up everybody how y'all doing today to Kevin big Kevin little Kevin Olivia, little, little Kevin, I, I seen Pop earlier, to the whole family, um, you have my love, um, I love you all to, to life. Um, I'm Dave, I am, um, <sighs> this is gonna be hard. Um, I'm the producer uh, of both Tracy's albums um, both producer and co-executive producer. Tracy called me her twin because we both, uh, our birthdays were a day apart. My birthday is actually tomorrow. Her birthday is Saturday. 
and we called each other twin. We were brothers and sisters, literally. <laughs> we fought in the studio, we laughed in the studio, we cried in the studio. Um, one of my last fondest memories of working with Tracy in the studio was not actually for her own project, but for Candace's project. <laughs> and that day when she came in the studio, it was something different about Tracy. It was something different about her in that she, she owned the place. She owned the recording booth. It was the best I've ever heard Tracy sing in her life. And it was a proud moment because she knows she nailed it. She knew she nailed it. And it was a proud moment. But then shortly after that, Candace gets in the booth and Tracy wants to become her producer. She wants to go in the booth and tell Candace how it should be sung and so forth. And I had to tell Tracy, come on out the booth. Get on out of there. Let her have her moment. But she was so proud. She was so happy. If there's one song that um, I could share with you all that I believe just tells the story of what Tracy wanted to do with her music career, is a song called Crash and Burn, which is from her first album. And this song is about, it's not a love song, it's a love song to music. Her words, her thoughts, her feelings towards music. I'm gonna share with you the lyrics. It says, listen up, I've got something to say. I just want it off my chest. I know I feel some kind of way and I don't want anything left unsaid. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought I'd lie about it. Don't want no coulda, shoulda, wouldas or no doubt. If I fall, then let me fall. Even if I crash and burn, I will be shooting for the stars. But if you bring me down to earth, it's all good. My baby, it's all good. Listen up, there's no other way to say it. I'm going to double down and I got my poker face on. Although I feel some kind of way, I don't want anything to be left unsaid. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought I'd lie about it. Don't want no coulda, shoulda, wouldas, or no doubt. If I fall, then let me fall. Even if I crash and burn, I will be shooting for the stars. But if you bring me down to earth, it's all good. My baby, it's all good. Hey, mister, I'm a shooting star. And I would like to go as far as you let me go. I'm on this love train. Find love and will it change? Life as we know it. Life as we know it. So maybe you do. Maybe you don't. And it was one of her favorite songs. She will always sing that song. I just want to thank all of the writers, songwriters. Um, one is here today, Nye. It was like her, her brother as well. Scooter, Kim, um, Kenny. Um, I could be forgetting some, you know, some other writers, but all the writers that participated and was a part of the project, both projects, uh, on behalf of Tracy and her family, just want to say thank you for being a part of this journey and making her dreams come true. I love you all. Thank you.
is Jacqueline Griffin, and I am so honored to be a part of the Celebration of Life ceremony for my dear friend, the beautiful Miss Tracy Braxton. Tracy had an undeniable passion for living life to the fullest. Her smile warmed your heart, and her laughter was contagious. Tracy loved from a pure place. She loved her family. She loved her friends. She loved life. But most of all, she loved God. Tracy's faith was strong. And I saw Tracy go through a lot. I met her in 2013. And I tell you, our friendship grew stronger and stronger with each passing year. Tracy, to me, was special. (laughs) Tracy was loving. Tracy was kind. Tracy made you believe (laughs) every day that you needed to live life to the fullest. And she did. I thank you so much for coming out and celebrating this beautiful woman. And though Tracy is no longer with us physically, it's our responsibility to keep her memories alive. She was amazing. I'll tell you a story. Tracy and I were doing our radio show one day and she told me, she said, Miss Jackie, because she's called Miss Jackie, Miss Jackie, I'm going on tour and I'm going to need you to come on tour with me. And I said, Tracy, well, what you want me to do on tour with you? And she said, well, Miss Jackie, I want you to pray. I want you to pray while we're traveling from city to city. I want you to pray before I take the stage. And I want you to pray when I come off to the stage. And I said, Tracy, I'll think about it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. But that's just the type of woman and friend Tracy was. Tracy trusted God. Tracy believed God. Tracy had faith in God. And now Tracy is in heaven with God, rejoicing, showing people how to live life to the fullest, laughing, and making everyone else laugh. So I tell you, everyone, continue to be strong in your faith. Live life to the fullest like Tracy did. Smile and laugh and remember That now she's been promoted to be an angel, our angel, that's looking down from heaven and smiling on us all. Oh, how we miss you, Tracy. Oh, how I miss you. And I love you. Y'all, let's celebrate her today. Because you know she'd celebrate you. Thank you. Hello. Let me clear my throat. I am the legendary DJ Cool, and I'm here to give my deepest condolences to the Braxton family over the passing of their sister, Tracy. I do know that Tracy was from the DMV, and she really did love the DMV. So I just want everybody to know that we got one more angel out there looking over all of us. Uh, Miss Tracy Braxton, you are loved, and you will be missed. God bless. Peace. like we're about to sing, don't we? Um, This is never easy. Uh, My name is Tarek Turk Stevens, and my relationship with with Tracy, I met her, her sister and I, Tony, went to Bowie State together, and I remember spending time with them. And over the years, you know, um, I was doing music, and I I left school early to pursue my career. I got my my deal, and then they got theirs with Arista. And you just really cherish the time. This is not easy for me because in less than two years, I was in the same situation with the loss of both my parents. But the one thing that I have to say that I want to encourage everybody to remember 
is the time that we spend with people. And what we have is I'm just thankful for the time. A lot of times we wake up and we thank God for things that he has given us. But do we ever thank him for the overflow? When he gives us more than what we ask for. And the thing that's most important is that the time that you have with someone is always an overflow. And I want you to remember that. Some people don't have aunts. Some people don't have sisters, daughters. But we have had that time. And that is the overflow that we must be grateful for. I'm here on behalf of my sister, Tressa Smallwood, um, owner of Megamind Media Productions. Um, she says she sent this text because she could not be here today. Dear Surratt, Kevin Jr., Surratt family and the Braxton family, thank you for letting me share a few words about our dear friend Tracy. The women who glowed from the inside out and taught us all how to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Tracy was an amazing person who impacted us all with her infectious personality and her contagious laugh. I mean, contagious laugh <laughs> that made you want to double over and laugh and laughter. Mm -hmm. There's not enough time to speak on how many people she's touched in our family, but we, we will share that Tracy never told us no for anything. That's the type of supportive friend she was. She attended speaking events on our behalf, appeared in three of our movies that you can now see all over TV, gave our children that good auntie advice about no good boyfriends. You can imagine how them conversations went. But all in all, she was always present and always stayed positive, always present and always stayed positive in every situation, even until her final days. Although we never know God's plans and should never question his timing, we do know that our time with Tracy and all of those enjoyable moments, we live in our hearts forever. Until we see you again, we love you, Tracy, from Tressa and the entire Megamind Media family. Amen. Um, I'll be real brief, but Tracy was a very special person. She really, really touched my heart as well as everybody else's. When she passed away, we saw the wave of the world stop. Everybody all across the world stopped and paid tribute to this beautiful soul because she let her light so shine. And when I think of her life, I think of a verse in March 15, in March 5, 15, that says, let your light so shine among men that they can see your good work. And what I want to encourage everybody to do, we only got one life here. We only got one opportunity to be on this earth. It's so important. We're not here talking about how, how much money she made, how big her house was, how many cars she had. What's most important is when you look at her pitch up there, there's a light that surrounded her. And that's what you talk about when you, when you pass, when you're gone. If you ain't got no light, there ain't nothing to talk about. So for her, for this young, beautiful lady, beautiful soul that so happened to be in a young filmmaker's movie who was 26 years old and never made a movie, a real movie, she took a chance on me because of her light. And she shined it so much on my life that when she did pass, the whole world had to stop and give tribute to such a beautiful soul. And so what I want to say to you, Tracy, is well done. You let your light so shine so that men will forever get to see your good works. Every time somebody turn on a TV, every time somebody turn on a radio, every time somebody open up a magazine. So you might not be here in the physical, but your light and your work will shine. Well done, my queen. Hello. Hello. So I am Chuck West, and this is my wife, Bree West. We are Octech Productions. I, we all know how funny Tracy was. She was, a, she was really, truly a comedian. But no one has spoke about her uh, soothing spirit. So I'm going to tell a little story about her soothing spirit. She was on set with us uh, for a film called The Christmas Lottery. And I came when she got in, I came to greet her at her, uh, her dressing room and you know we started speaking and I got like four or five calls on the walkie talkie. Uh, I'm needed here, I'm needed there, I'm needed there. So I told her, I said, Tracy, I'm gonna come back a little later. <laughs> About 45 minutes to an hour later, I get on here on a walkie talkie, Tracy needs the producer. So I am like, oh no, now what? Tracy's calling me to the, she's in wardrobe now. So she calls me to wardrobe. When I get to wardrobe, she asks everyone to leave. I said, oh, no. I sit down across from Tracy, and Tracy just starts telling jokes. 
and then goes on from telling jokes to start talking about something that has nothing to do with the film. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm like, why did Tracy call me in here? She knows everything that's crazy that's going on around right now. We had like 60 extras. It was one of those days. And um, so I got another call on walk. You got another call on walk. And I said, Tracy, I got to go. I said, and she said to me, she said, you feel better now? I said, you know what I do? And I left out of the trailer and I spoke to Thomasina, who's a publicist, and you know, everybody was like, why, why did Tracy call you? Why did Tracy call you in? And I said, I really don't know. And I left, started going to, back to set, dealing with other things that had to be dealt with. And then like 10 hours later, it hit me. Tracy didn't call me in there for me. I mean, for her. She didn't call me for her. She saw all the craziness that was going around me earlier that day, and she called me in there for me to give me a piece for 10 minutes on that set. That's that soothing spirit that Tracy had. Tracy, we're going to miss you. Thank you for the blessing, the time that we had together, and thank you for the family. Hi, I just want to say one thing. The last time we spoke to Tracy, um, she knew that her days on this side of the River of Jordan, as my mother used to say, were numbered. And even with everything that was going on and understanding that how much time or she, knowing that it wasn't going to be a long time, she said, I still have something I need to do. And so she started trying to figure out a way to communicate to the world the importance for women, especially black women, to take time for yourself, love yourself, check on yourself. Take that time, that 10 minute of just peace. Have that time because you deserve it. Take time to check on your health. Take time to love on yourself. Because at the end of the day, you owe it to yourself and you deserve it. You give it to your kids, you give it to your relationships, you give it to work, you give it to everybody else. So the project didn't get done. But I felt so compelled to share that with you from Tracy. She wanted to make sure that every woman takes care of yourself, loves yourself, check on yourself. We love you, Tracy. We thank you for all the blessings you share with us, and we thank you for all the blessings that the world has received because of you. God bless everyone. Bye. Hello, I'm Dr. Angie Gates director of the DC Office of Cable Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment. I had the pleasure of meeting Tracy when I first relocated from New Orleans. And the first thing we talked about was our love for good Southern food, our love for people, and an appreciation to just sit, talk, and just have a good time. Tracy Braxton, our DMV native, was more than a successful actress and recording artist. She was a kind and caring soul, one of the good ones. People in need brought out the best in Tracy. She was a tireless advocate and champion for women's rights and those facing health challenges. She never met a stranger and always greeted others with a smile. To the Braxton family, friends and fans, on behalf of Mayor Muriel Bowser and the residents of Washington, D.C., we send our heartfelt condolences. And we are here to support you during this difficult time. It's never an easy way to say goodbye, especially to the ones we love. But Tracy fought courageously till the end. And if love could have saved her, she would have lived forever. The world has lost a shining light. Tracy, you will be greatly missed, but your legacy will live on forever.
Praise the Lord, church. My name is Sidney Harrison. I am the vice chair of the Prince George's County Council. I'm joined with my chief of staff, Mr. Eric Bowman. And uh, we have a proclamation for uh, Ms. Tracy Braxton. And, uh, but before we, we read the, the actual proclamation, I just want to take a moment of reflection and share um, a moment in time back about 10 years ago when I had the opportunity to uh, meet Miss Tracy Braxton. Um, it was in the community and uh, Miss Tracy walked up to me and she said, what are we gonna do together? And you know, I kind of chuckled because you know, she was just so forward in some of her messaging and, uh, and so I told her, I said, well, look, we got some great things that we're working on. Um, how about I introduce you to a nonprofit uh, foundation called Saving Our Children? And, you know, she was like, well, what is that about? And I told her, I said, it was, well, it's about raising awareness for women and children that are living in the domestic violence shelters right here in the DMV area in Prince George's County. She said, sign me up. I want to I wanna take part in that. So through a three-month planning uh, to uh, bring people out from the community to raise resources, uh, toys uh, for the children on the holiday season, Tracy was front and center leading the charge. And that's just the type of character that she had. She led by faith. She led with light. She was a light worker. And so for that, um, I just remember those times where she would get on me and say, come on now, we got to do more, we got to do more. And that was just who she was. She wanted to make the community a better place for all of us to live. So in memory of Miss Tracy Braxton, we have a proclamation that it reads, we are reminded that in the fleeting time we have on this earth, what matters is not wealth or status or power or fame, but rather how well we have loved and what small part we have played in making the lives of other people better. Barack Obama. Whereas there was a woman brought onto this earth to bring love, peace, and joy to all who knew her. And that woman was Tracy Renee Braxton. And whereas born on April 2nd, 1971, Tracy Braxton was dubbed the sister for the people, always loving on them and giving herself an ambassador, championing causes and supporting working with organizations such as Susan G. Komen, Breast Cancer Walk for the Cure, Pulmonary Hyperten Hypertension Association, UNCF, Thurgood Marshall Foundation Scholarship Fund, Special Olympics, and many more. Whereas a heart of gold, Tracy Braxton always accepted the opportunity to speak with troubled adolescents and visit middle and high school and college age students on various occasions. Whereas out of all the people I have ever managed, Tracy was one of those ones that was managing me. She would always manage the whole situation and put a plan together for her to become an artist, an entrepreneur, an actress, and she did everything. She did it all, stated her longtime manager, Cliff Jones of Soul World Entertainment. Whereas a unique down-to-earth individual, Tracy Braxton was a devoted mother, wife, daughter, sister, and friend, and everyone she ever met, who had also an excitement for fitness and healthy lifestyles. She also had a, fit, uh, a passion for motorcycle riding and being a motivational speaker to the charities and nonprofit organizations. Whereas on March 12, 2022, at 8.30 a.m., Tracy Renee Braxton Surratt departed this life to a life with her heavenly father, and she has probably already greeted all the angels, shaken hands, and encouraged all those that she has come in contact with. She will truly be missed on earth. Now, for, there, now therefore, be it 
be it proclaimed by the Prince George's County Council that Thursday, March 31st, 2022 is declared Tracy Renee Braxton Surratt Day in Prince George's County, Maryland. Yes, this is signed by Council Chair Calvin Hawkins and myself, Council Vice Chair Sidney J. Harrison. Thank you so much. Hello to the Braxton family. From my family, I want to send my condolences from my family to the Braxton family on the passing of Tracy Braxton. May God cover you and your family during these trying times. I pray to God that it shows you some comfort during these trying times. From the bottom of my heart, I wish y'all the best. Amen. Hello, everybody. This is Tommy Davidson. I'd like to send my warmest condolences to the Braxton family and Tracy Braxton, who's made her transition. A wonderful woman, a wonderful family, a God-fearing family, a spiritual family, and a family that represents just. Climbing the stairway to heaven, I'm climbing the stairway to heaven, and you're going step by step, and I also was one of her favorites on uh, Living Color. I love to everybody. Let me begin by expressing my most deep and sincere condolences to the entire Surratt and Braxton families. Um, Kevin Sr., Kevin Jr., K3, I know that this loss has been as devastating to you as a loss can be. Um, the entire Team Tracy, Cliff, Tommy, Thomasina, Tam, Nikki, yes, Nikki. I know that this loss for you has been devastating because uh, Tracy made each and every person who was in her corner at any point throughout her life feel as if they were um, as close a blood connected family as her actual blood family. I, being one of those people, I, I will miss forever our times together. Um, you, you made me laugh. You made me cry. You shared joys with me. I, um, our bond was, was uh, strengthened when we spent time together during the episodes of Braxton Family Values that you invited me to be a part of. I, um, I just want to say that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always miss the funny videos you would send to me. You always knew how to cheer somebody up. We've been friends for a very long time, and I've never, ever, ever had an argument with you, uh, other than who's going to pay the check. I've never, I've experienced lots of nevers with, with you, Tracy, but I have never had to argue with any of my other black girlfriends about who's going to pay the check. We would go into restaurants and, and give our card to servers, like secretly, and they come over with both cards laughing because... Both of us tried to beat each other to paying the bill. I will definitely miss that. Um, I also uh, experienced a few other nevers. And one is you've shown me that there's never anybody or anything that is more important than family. You would never put anything above family. I've never seen anyone go into the studio, write and record three whole songs in like two hours time and great songs not just songs great songs that are definitely hits in my opinion i've never ever ever this is the biggest one seen anybody bomb as bad as you did when you decided to do stand-up comedy girl and have a line of people still lined up waiting to take pictures with you never seen that in the history of comedy anyway i will say that I've never had anybody who has touched my heart as deeply and profoundly as you and our friendship has had. I wanna say that you will always live indelibly 
etched into the heartstrings of my ex existence for the rest of for the rest of my life. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Rest well, my friend. Until we meet again. Hey, everybody. Y'all all right? Everybody doing okay? Amen. So, um, listen, um, at this time, I want to do something really, really special. Um, I want to ask to come to the stage, um, Kevin Sr., uh, little Kevin, uh, baby Kev, Olivia, the, the Surratt family. Come on, can we stand and give it up for them? Come on, make some noise for, for this beautiful family. So we had time to, uh, you know, we, we, we met with them when we were preparing. Um, they shared a lot of great memories and told me a lot of stories. So now I know where to get the bomb turkey wings. I know who to ask for the recipe. Um, and y'all know, I, look, just save me a plate when y'all get together. You know, I, I need that. So um, what I want to do now is, is um, Lil Kevin, if you can come over, man. Um, I want to present you, uh, someone's going to bring it up now. We want to present you um, with the urn containing uh, your mom's remains. And the, the reason it's important is because, you know, we want you to have something, a keepsake to remember her by. Um, and we want to thank you as a family once again, you know. Um, it's, a really imp it's a really critical thing when a family's lost someone that was monumental as Tracy, Right. But we just pray that our service today and that our service to you as a family and all this celebration and all these tributes um, help me make you smile and make this transition easier, okay? So can we give it up once again um, for the family? Come on, make, make some noise once again. And I think you all are gonna share some remarks and some thoughts at this time. So um, feel free, we can do that now. Check. I want to thank everybody, first and foremost, for just celebrating with us. You know, Tracy was my everything. She was my, um, I mean, I would say dream girl. I would say my 42. I would say my love in basketball. I would say, shoot, I'd say my Tammy Faye. They had a unique, you know, and she just, was all of it. So to hear everything that was said today just magnifies the life that we lived. And that's what we wanted to, you know, put out there. Tracy was in my life more than many. And what I mean by that, for 29 years we were together. 29 years. Um, The other day I woke up, I think it was the 7th of March, yeah, I woke up and uh, I just wanted to hear her snore. I, I wanted to hear her, um, because at this point she wasn't talking, I wanted to just hear her fuss at me, something to that extent. I just wanted to feel her, it was so much, and so that was, on that day I really felt it. And I asked God just to give me strength to be everything I can for her. Tracy, I, I can't just go back and touch on everything that everybody said, but I can kind of sum it up. Someone said something about Tracy signing autographs, and one day she did. We was at the Capitol Center. This is how far back it go. And y'all, please sit down. Everybody can sit down, please. I'm sorry. Um, we was at the Capitol Center, and this is when they, Tracy and her sister was doing backgrounds for Tony. It was on tour with Frankie Beverly and Mays, and uh, we go back to the green room where people are doing autographs at this time, and Tony got tired of doing autographs. So her and Tracy did a switch out, and Tracy continued to sign autographs. 
and this was her heart. She wasn't missing a beat. And <laughs> she in turn just wouldn't stop and the people wouldn't stop. I said, Tracy, the car about to leave us. How are we gonna get back? She said, they'll come back and get us. <laughs> just, just little things like that that she was just so in tune to as far as people, loving people, and just giving them that love. I can look at pictures of Tracy when she's posing with people, and I can tell how much she cared, how much she loved, how much she was into it. And it's a lot of pictures we've taken over the years. And Tracy has truly touched a lot of people. And that's what I wanted this celebration to be about, just to magnify the people who touched our lives. And that's what God wants. He wants us to live in your, your, your purpose, share your, share your life, love, and experience. So it can be about him, because you magnifying his light in his image. And Tracy did that. Yeah, we used to be in church having a ball. She loved the tamarind. But when she had that Dallas Cowboy jersey on when I walked into church late that day, I was upset. <laughs> just, just to let you know, Bishop, I was upset, Auntie. I was upset that my wife was wearing a Dallas Cowboy, but that's, that's just who she was. She was a free spirit. She was my hummingbird. I don't know if y'all ever seen Tracy's back. She had five hummingbirds on her back, tattooed. And they all represented her sisters. And that was just her heart. She was a giving soul. And I'm thankful to God that I had her in my life for half of my life. It hurts. I miss her. It's lonely. But... And it's abundance people have been around to give me the love that I think she would want me to have. So I thank y'all for representing her love. Hello. Hello. I don't really have much to say. Um, my mother was my best friend. Um, I loved her. I miss her. You know, when my mother told me she had cancer, the first thing she said was, uh, okay, I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna beat this. It's like, all right, ma, that's cool. When I was at work, when, when I found out the news, I was like, all right, ma. And then the last time I talked to her about her being sick, I said, ma, you already won. You already won my like you don't need to fight no more. It's okay. Cause my mother's strong and I don't know if she was trying to hang on for me, you know, baby Kevin, Liv, my father. But I know me seeing my mother like that was, was hard enough, you know. I love my mother enough to to, to let her know, hey like, mom, you already won this fight. And like what, you know, David just said, I'm gonna shoot for the shooting stars. She shot for it. She aimed for it and she has it. No matter what. Um, I just wanna thank everyone for coming and supporting my mother. Cause if she was here right now, they would bring tears to her eyes just to see the support she has and how everybody came together and just show her so much love. Even with social media, I think she would be at odds. Like she would be so amazed at the amount of people that supported her and loved her. I also want to thank Zion Church for allowing us to come celebrate my mother the way that she deserves. All I can do now is just continue her legacy, and then also bring awareness to this, this sickness that's going on. Because for the longest time, we didn't know what was going on. 
And this could have been prevented just from a simple, just checkups, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue my mother's legacy. I'm gonna speak on my mother's behalf the best way I can and just do right by my mother. And I'm gonna continue that. Hello. Um, I'm not a public speaker, but I think we can all attest to the person she was. I know for me, I'm going to miss our talks, our cooking moments where she's taught me pretty much every recipe that she has. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that we're going to miss is how she was with him. That's his best friend, his slumber party buddy, his Roblox competitor. <laughs> because they were really into that game. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys for the outpouring love. The text, the calls, I mean, even the messages, it helps so much. And we're going to miss her. But we're going to get through it as a family, friends, fans. Everybody has lost her. But we have memories. So you want to say something? Say love you, Bubby. Love you, Bubby. Good job. <laughs> Um, you know, a real sad day today. Just want to send my condolences to the Braxton's family for Tracy. Uh, letting them know that my prayers is with them and their family. Um, and she's in God's hands. You know, she's in God's hands. She's in a better place than we are. Matter of fact, you know, she's really, really free. And, um... I just want to send my prayers and my condolences to the Braxton family and to Tracy Braxton, RIP. May you rest easy. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy! <laughs> Everybody know Tracy. It's, it's showtime. showtime. Shake it up! What will come out of Tracy's mouth? Who wants to say? He grabbed a good yeah. hunk of my awesome. What? what did I get myself into? <laughs> and here's the moment of truth. I'm very protective over my sisters. I don't do anything for my sisters. I'm going to get this. First Braxton family great grandbaby. I'm just going to relax and be Tracy. Hey guys, I'm back. And we've got a couple of acknowledgements that we have to give. Some people brought us some nice gifts I want to show you first. Uh, if you all are familiar with Picasso's work, Demont Picasso, he has uh, given us a certificate of authenticity. This is a one of a kind of Tracy Renee Braxton. And he sent us a nice note that says, to the soul world, Braxton and Surratt families, I want to send my deepest condolences for your loss. I had the pleasure of crossing paths with Tracy a few times. She's always, excuse me, she always was very pleasant and happy. She loved the portrait I did of her years back at Studio 202 for WeTV. I can honestly say, I now know how, how you feel. I lost my mom January this year, and I'm flying out in two hours to attend my aunt's memorial. So y'all, just so you all know, he did this last night before he was ready to go on a plane to bury his other aunt. So uh, Memorial this weekend, I just want to send love your way. May this portrait bring joy and comfort knowing that she touched the world the best. The best to you all. Thank you. Then I have another here, but uh, I can't read this small print, so we're gonna let LaDonia Wicks, he's gonna read that for you. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Uh, this is from Urban One, Resolution of Mentorship and Loving Memory of Tracy Braxton. Though your days among us were too brief and our grief at your loss is never ending, we draw comfort from the knowledge that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. No pain can touch you any longer. You're free to live in eternal happiness and peace. Whereas Tracy Braxton of Severn, Maryland, transitioned from this life on March 12, 2022. And whereas Tracy was a beautiful person with an equally beautiful spirit who worked with senior staff members and other employees at WMMJ Magic 102.3 and 92.7 on various projects. Whereas Tracy always brightened the room with her infectious laugh, big personality, and warm smile. Whereas Tracy was beloved by Radio One and its Washington DC market radio station, family where she contributed her exceptional talent and humble spirit to help us raise our standards to entertain, lead, and serve our DMV communities. Whereas Tracy was integral in serving as an interim host at WMMJ Magic 102.3 and 92.7 in 2015. With heartfelt empathy and loving support, we extend our prayers of comfort to the entire Braxton and Surratt families. We admonish you to call upon Psalms 3418. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Therefore, in consideration of the loyal stewardship and tireless community service that Tracy brought to Urban One, be it resolved that Urban One will continue its mentorship of aspiring radio personalities, and be it further resolved that the sympathy of the entire Urban One Inc. family, along with a copy of this resolution, is extended to the bereaved family. Signed by Jeffrey Wilson, Senior Regional Vice President, and Kashan Powell, Vice President of Programming. And I have one more. This one is from the Executive Office of the Mayor of Washington, D.C. Condolences to the family of Tracy R. Braxton, March 31st, 2022. On behalf of all Washingtonians, I wish to express my deepest condolences on the passing of your dear wife, daughter, mother, sister, grandmother, family member, and friend, Tracy Renee Braxton. Born in 1972 to Michael and Evelyn Braxton in Severn, Maryland. Tracy and her five siblings were raised in a loving spiritual and musical family. From a young age, along with her four sisters, Tracy possessed an innate talent for and love of music and entertainment. When they began performing together, they quickly gained widespread popularity and success. Tracy began her solo career in 2014 and continued working towards fulfilling her dreams. Her peers have said that Tracy always worked hard towards each goal with great purpose and drive, despite adversity, setbacks, and often being told it could not be done. Her joyful, determined spirit moved mountains even during the most unconquerable times. A beloved voice of Washington, D.C., and our region and the country, Tracy's talents extended far beyond the world of entertainment. She was an advocate for health and fitness, and was excited about sharing the benefits of assuming a more wholesome lifestyle. She was a philanthropist, giving motivational speeches for international charities and nonprofit organizations that supported the advancement of women. Tracy also served as an advocate working with organizations like Susan G. Komen for the Cure Breast Cancer Foundation, the Pulmonary Hypertension Association, UNCF, and the Special Olympics, to name but a few. Among her most important work, Tracy advocated getting out the vote to black voters each election year through her work with Black Folks Must Vote. She also happily accepted requests to speak with troubled youth, including students in middle and high school. On a personal note, anytime my team asked, Tracy was quick to answer the call. When we celebrated the second anniversary of DC Radio, the district, the district government's first radio station, I am grateful to Tracy for taking time out of her busy life and career to help ensure we kept Washingtonians healthy, vibrant, safe, and strong. Tracy always found time to celebrate life, music, and art. She loved helping others and understood the importance of education to positively impact our future leaders. Her legacy of determination, joy, laughter, and love will surpass this moment 
and continue to influence many lives for years to come. I am proud you all are. I am proud to join you all in remembering Tracy Renee Braxton and honoring a life so very, very well lived. To her devoted parents, Evelyn Braxton and Michael Braxton Sr., to her beloved husband, Kevin and son, Kevin Jr. Surratt, excuse me, to her cherished siblings, Tony, Trina, Tawanda, Tamar, and Michael, to family and friends, and to all who love Tracy, please know that you are in my thoughts and prayers during this difficult sign. Signed, Muriel Bowser, Mayor, Washington, D.C. And there's a seal. Thank you. Put a rainbow in the sky. God, put a rainbow in the sky. When it looks like the sun there it is, there it is. will not shine yeah. anymore. God, put a rainbow in the sky. Can I do Tony? Yeah. Sky. I just did a Tony. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy! Everybody know Tracy. It's showtime. It's showtime. What will come out of Tracy's mouth? Who wants to say? He grabbed a good yeah. hunk of my awesome. What? what did I get myself into? <laughs> and here's the moment of truth. I'm very protective over my sisters. I would do anything for my sisters. I'm gonna get this. First Braxton family great grandbaby. I'm just gonna relax and be Tracy. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, I'm Cliff Jones, and I had the opportunity to manage Tracy for <clears throat> the last uh, 12 years. Um, I thank God for allowing me that opportunity. Um, Tracy became a client, and then Tracy became a friend and then Tracy became a sister. Um, there were many magical moments that I can talk about, uh, but I just want to say that I thank God for sending Tracy my way because um, there were times when um, I was down <clears throat> and I was out and she would come and enlighten my day. Um, Tracy would never let me be in charge. She would always be in charge. Even when we would check into an airport, I'm the manager, I'm supposed to be checking her bags, but she's checking my bags. Um, we go into the Sky Lounge, she ordering my food, I should be ordering her food. We get to the hotel, she's telling them make sure this is in his room. And I'm like, Tracy, I don't want that in my room. No, you're going to get this in your room. Tracy was always uh, the manager. Um, I, just, I just really thank God for her family, uh, Kevin, Senior Kevin Jr., uh, Kevin III, Mr. and Mrs. Braxton's, her sisters, her brother, I thank you all for allowing Tracy, for lending Tracy to me and my family. Um, there wasn't a place where we didn't go and Tracy didn't light the room up. Um, and she shared a lot with me. 
she shared a lot with me. And the day that Surratt <clears throat> and her came from her appointment, she came straight to my house and she told me, she said, Cliff, I have cancer. And um, I guess some things you, you try to understand and some things you don't understand, but um, Tracy was like a little sister to me. She still is a sister to me. And um, I just, uh, just want to keep her name alive, keep her legacy alive, and do all the things that she told me to do. Um, but before we go any further, can you all just do me a favor and stand up and give Tracy a great big round of applause? Come on. A great big round of applause, please, for a life well lived. A life well lived. She deserves that. A great big round of applause. Come on. A round of applause. Before, uh, where's Tommy? Did Tommy leave? No, he didn't leave. He was in the back. Oh, Tommy. Okay. Tommy, uh, Tommy called me one morning with Tracy on the phone and Tracy always loved, she would always, everywhere we go, y'all know he the guy that sing Be Encouraged. I was like, stop telling people that. She's like, no, he the guy that sung Be Encouraged loud. So people were like, no, he's not. She was like, yes, he did. Look, go to YouTube. <laughs> so she was always proud of the people that were around her and those people that worked for her, our team, Thomasina, Tommy, Dave, Junior, um, all of them. She was she was proud of them. She she would she would always brag when people come around. She would be like, "That's my team. That's my team." So I thank God for it. I thank God for sending her my way. I managed a lot of people over the years. I'm talking about major clients, but this particular woman changed my life. Thank you, Surratt. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for allowing her to come in my life. And um, before we leave, she called Tommy one morning, Deontay, and she said, Believe I'll run on, see what the end's going to be. You can put your hands together for me. Tracy say, believe I'll run on. She said, Cliff, believe I'll run on. Believe I'll run on. Take a time, take a time. Believe I'll run on, run on, run on. 
Tracy would get off the plane. Every time we would fly somewhere, we would get off the plane and she would hit me with this. She would say, Kevin, she would say, to God be the glory, <laughs> glory, to God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done with his blood he has saved. His power, He has raised. 
me to God be the glory glory for the things for the things for the things To God be the glory now, yeah, for the things. Giving me a chance to live for the things. I thank him for the things that he's done for me. For the things. For sending Tracy my way. Thank you, Jesus. For the things. I'm gonna miss her laugh. I'm gonna miss her calls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, for the thing, for the thing, Tracy, 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 Tracy. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. Shout hallelujah. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Wasn't this an awesome celebration of life? Amen. Thank you for hanging in there all the way with us. For everybody who hung in there online, um, Kevin, at one point I know there were over 8,000 people watching online. People who love Tracy. So we thank God for you. Thank you for your presence and everybody here today. I want to once again thank your family, Kevin. Thank you for letting us serve you. Thank you. We love y'all. We appreciate you for letting us stand in the gap in this way. And for everyone who spoke, um, for everyone who shared every video tribute, can we give it up for all the love showed for Tracy today? And as we prepare to leave, uh, I want to say once again to everybody who's been watching this service and maybe you're feeling disconnected from God. Maybe you're feeling disconnected from church. You still got your phone. You can still text next steps to 51555. We got you. Um, and listen, we just want to say thank you once again. And can we give God some praise for Tracy's life? Come on, come on, come on. We can give God some praise for that. You can stand to your feet if you're able. Come on. Let's give it up for a life well lived. Amen. So Here's the last thing I'm going to say, and then we're getting out of here. Um, we're, we do really, really well, and we say stuff like, oh, if you need anything, call me. If you need anything, let me know. But often, anybody who's ever grieved before, you know, you're not always thinking about what you need. You're not thinking, let me call somebody. So here's what I'm going to ask everybody watching that knows the Surratt family, everybody watching who loves them, everybody here who loves them, set a reminder in your phone and you check on them. You check in and say, hey, how you doing? You check in and say, how you coming along? You check in and say, hey, can I do anything for you? Look, I'm bringing you some food. I'm bringing you some turkey wings. They may not be as good as Tracy's, but they'll do on a pinch, amen? Let's practice being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ for this family that needs that love as they deal with this transition, amen? So I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna ask that you please leave safely Please um, obey, obey the orders in the parking lot and everything. We don't want nobody to get in trouble. Can we give God praise once again for all the team and everybody that made this happen? S hundreds, of hundreds of team and volunteers behind the scenes making this happen today. You thank God for that. Let's pray. Lord, we love you. God, thank you for this day. And Lord, just like the song says, to you be the glory for the things you've done. 
And on this day, we give you praise. We give you honor and glory for the life of Tracy Braxton Surratt. God, thank you for her light. Thank you for everyone that she touched, all her accomplishments, everything that she did, but most of all, who she was as mom, who she was as wife and sister and daughter and friend and grandma, God. We thank you for that. And Lord, as this family deals with her transition, I pray that your peace that surpasses all understanding would guard their hearts and minds as they live in Christ Jesus. Lord, that your Holy Spirit would comfort them, that it would count every tear, and that every time they cry, God, that they would understand that you acknowledge it and that you've got them. And you said you'd never leave them nor forsake them. And we thank you for the promise that if we've trusted your son, Jesus Christ, as our Savior and Lord, we will see Tracy again. So, Lord, as we go from this place, Lord, would you go with the family and all those that are grieving? And, God, we thank you and honor you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people that agree say amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for celebrating with us today. See you later.